Alrighty, honey pie, you ready? Yeah. Get out. Let me show you guys what we've got. And the, the funny thing is, Cressy is not a sponsor, but I'm wearing Cressy freediving fins. They don't even match, actually, but whatever. This is my big foot, this is my small foot. Uh, I'm wearing just, uh, I don't even know what kind of mask it is, but it's gotta be black. Gotta be black. If it's not black, when you're looking under rocks, you'll get light in the side of your eyes and you cannot see. So I highly suggest using a mask that does not allow light in the sides. Like the whole side windows and clear silicone, bad idea, in my opinion. This is Aria, she's our five-year-old. She really, <laughs> she's wearing a Cressy outfit that she, uh, Sarah got on Amazon. We will put a link to this in the description below. These fins, um, they're really pliable and flexible, so Aria can actually walk with them, but they give her enough propulsion that she can swim very well. We, here, take your snorkel out of your mouth. We've been working in the pool a lot together. What do I always tell you? Um, to breathe up. Breathe before up. Before you go down. Yep. And rest before you go down. That's right. The key to free diving, before you learn all the technique, before you learn technique, the first thing you need to learn is to have an outfit that fits you. Mask, fins, for me, weight belt, because I got a little bit of dad gut on here. <laughs> and uh, then you have to learn to relax, be comfortable. Don't kick very fast, just relax. That's what. That's the stage she's in right now. Relax, breathe up, go down, and enjoy yourself. Better take my sunglasses off. looking for lobsters so that when mini season gets here, we can find them. We can come catch them. down like this. I'm gonna watch you. I want you to do it again. I want you to go down and come up and I want the snorkel to come way down here. Okay. way up. Don't wait till you get out. That's how I want you to do it every time. High five. That's perfect. As soon as you start to come up, you can take it out of your mouth. Good job. Alright, go back to the boat.
out of the water there. Woo! <laughs> Got him! Hey! Look at that! Big old porcupine fish! Not only have very sharp spikes, but they can bite you so hard. He'll get you going and coming. Dad. He doesn't look like it, but he can bite like super hard, like a pit bull. So with these porcupine fish, when they puff up like that, they have air and water inside of them. You know why? So they can float, but they can also get oxygen. So he's he's just fine like that. He's like a big jug of water that he can breathe oxygen from. Now let's let him go. See, look, he let out all his air. So, the great thing about coming out here is that not only can we scout and find lobsters and hogfish and groupers, but the kids, they love to fish also. So, just basic as it gets. It's an old salty spinning rod, 10 pound test floor, 10 pound test leader, little hook, just a little guy and a piece of bait, like that. Now you want to kind of hide that bait on the hook. Are ya? Uh, you love to fish? Uh-huh. Yeah? Hold your rod. Hold your rod. She knows how to hold that rod. Now, we got a chum bag out here. See that? That chum bag is just gonna keep filtering bait right back out the back. And here you go, hold the rod right. And all I do, there's no weight, there's no cork, no bobber, no nothing. You just put this in the water and just pull it off there. Ooh. Real, real, real. Real. Whoa! It's strong. What on earth? What do you think you got on there? It's big. If he's tiny, I'm impressed. I'm sorry. No way! He's so tiny! How is he that strong if he's so tiny? <laughs> nice. And I mean, this is something that you can do as like a complete sideshow. Like right now, the wind's blowing about 25 knots out of the due east. If we were to go offshore right now, it would be so rough that no one's gonna want that. So. Instead, we come back here and we're gonna make a good day out of it. We found lots of new holes. We've marked lots of spots. Like we just found this spot, we call it Bubbles. We find a bunch of hogfish, grouper, lobster. She's catching snappers. We're making a great day out of a day. Typically, we would just sit at home and not do anything. Wendy, we're having fun. Hey, that right there is the best eating fish ever. When Warren Sapp was with me and he said his favorite fish, Hogfish! That's a nice big old male right out of the Gulf of Mexico. Look at the meat under there. Nice. Today was an absolutely fantastic day. And while we were out there, I started thinking, what do I want to do? Because I want to do something really, really special tonight. And I thought about my mom. Whenever I was a kid growing up, she always made real mashed potatoes. She never made artificial mashed potatoes. But she would do fish crusted in mashed potato flakes. And oh my Lord, it was good. So today, mom, this one's for you, but we're gonna kick it up just a notch. Check this out. We got flour, we got potato flakes, we've got eggs with a little half and half. A little Everglades Original. You can use whatever seasoning you want, but if you want it to taste really good, I'd use Everglades. This fish right here, we're gonna throw it right, this, right inside the flour. A one gallon Ziploc bag is the best thing you can use. In my humble opinion. Now, 
You notice whenever I had this fish, I had it on paper towels because it needs to be dry. If it's all wet and this doesn't work as well. But if it's dry, you're gonna get really good results. Take each little piece, shake them off, make them do the chimichanga, just like that. Throw them in the egg wash, just like that. Get this bag all ready and then get your hands nice and muddy. Get them in there. Just, this is like a, it's like a mud bath, but it's gonna taste so good. Now this is where you wanna be a little more particular. Drop them in there. Make sure you get all your excess egg off. Zip it closed. Make it dance. See that? Yes, sir. Magnificent. See that? That might be one of the best things ever created. This is the secret ingredient. Take a little bit of that butter, put it right inside your oil there. And this is gonna allow your oil to really brown your fish well. Watch this. You always cook about the same size pieces together. Like that. There you go. You don't want to crowd that pan either. I like to do about four of them. That right there is what you're looking for. It just comes up. Everyone talks about panko. Heck no. Potato flakes is where it's at. That's what they're biting on right there. Man, this stuff has such a unique flavor, smell. Oh my God. But I'm just telling you, you don't need to do everything else that I'm doing right now. Like that right there is guaranteed make you smile, jump up and down, happy, good. But we're gonna kick it up a notch. Shout out to all my homies in Steenahatchee. We just got a really nice little package of base scallops. I want to tell you all thank you so much. Throw them right in there. Then take us some garlic. About like that. Now we got our scallops. We're gonna move them off the fire. And this stuff right here, this is the flour that I've already used. So let's put some of that in there. About that much. We want this flour to absorb all of that oil. Langer's mango blend. Throw it in there. About that much. That's a mango right off my mom and dad's tree. We're gonna peel this sucker. Check this out. We're gonna make it all come together with just one peel. Woo! This sucker juicy. See how this is super, super, super thick? That's too thick. So we're gonna add more mango. And we're gonna reduce the heat down to super low. You wanna cut yourself like little cubes, just like this. And then you just cut them right off the top. Now you've got diced mango. Woohoo! And now we're just gonna give this a little bit of a creamy happiness with some half and half. You can use heavy whipping cream, but I don't have heavy whipping cream, so I'm gonna use half and half. Well, we're gonna start off with a little cabbage. We did some pan fried cabbage with peppered bacon. That's gonna be good. I say we take a nice piece of fish, just like that. We're gonna put some mango on top of that, about like that. Mmm. Then, drain off these little sea scallops. Put them on top of there just like that. Then we're gonna take some of this mango drizzle. Woo! You know that's right. Love you. Did you have a good day on the boat today? Uh -huh. Emma, did you have a good day on the boat today? So tired. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for our food. Our family, thank you for this wonderful day. Please let Hudson have a, a good day at the doctor's tomorrow. And um, please not let his leg feel feel better tomorrow. Please let the doctors make his leg feel better. And that um, 
his friend, please apologize to Hudson when he feels better. He just say amen. Amen. <laughs> Hudson, I hope you watched this video. Oh, that was so sweet. Mm. It's not that hot. I'm not wearing tap, okay? Dad, what was in there? Watch out, I'm a hot. Dad, what's this? That was very big. That was Dad, very what's that? It's so good, Aria. Mmm. Emma, you want a bite? No. That's so good. Is Dad, what's the so stuff on top? It's mango. Mm. For, no. Oh my God, that is good. No, that no. mango gives that such a nice flavor. What it's like hot it? and cool mixed Dad, together. Scallops. It? Do you want to try one? Here you go. Dad. Right here. Mm. Scallops. That's so good. The mango. I guarantee. I like how it's cold though, because it gives it two totally different dynamics. That mm -hmm. right there mm -hmm. is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm. But I don't want to tell you this special. And I want to thank you for watching this video. Thank you for spending your time with us. Mm -hmm. This is our life, and we are very proud that you spend it with us. Take care. God bless. I got food in my teeth, but that don't matter. We're gone. Oh! <laughs>